three, four. Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. In this lesson, we're going to go through the song Lean by the band The National. This is off of the latest Hunger Games movie, Catching Fire, off the soundtrack. This is a great song. It's perfect for beginners. Um, really easy chords. We have an A minor chord, a D chord, a G chord, a C chord, back to a G chord with a B in the bass back to A minor, and that's the majority of the song. There's also a bridge I'm going to take you through. It's going to have an E minor, an A, a G, an A, and then the outro is going to be a C to an A to a G back to an A. Uh, the devil lies in the details of the strumming pattern for this song. The strumming pattern is very easy, all down strokes, straight eighth notes, but getting the accent is what makes it really sound like the song. I'll give you an example. So these are straight eighth notes we're going to play. One and two and three and four and. But to get the accents, you need to play those accents a little louder, and then it would sound like this. One and two and three and four and. So I'm gonna take you through how to, how to play the accents. I'm gonna take you through all the chords. Hope you like the lesson. Please subscribe. If you like what you see, please like on Facebook. If you haven't checked out the band The National, they're incredible, great songwriters. Just they know how to craft the songs, great parts. Um, so I hope you really like this lesson, and let's get started. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna play through the, uh, the first part, which is also the verse in the chorus. This goes through the majority of the song, then I'm gonna break it down. Here we go. So we start with an A minor chord. Okay, so we're going to start with the A minor chord. We have first finger, first fret, B string, second finger, second fret, D string, third finger, second fret, G string. Strum from the fifth string. The key in getting the rhythm here is hitting the accents. It's straight down strokes. One and two and three and four and. But to make it sound like the song, you're going to have to hit the accents, which are going to be on the one. One and two. So on the one, one and two, on the and of two, and three and, and then the four, four and, are where our accents are. So we would sound like this, one and two and three and four and. So in between the accents, when you're strumming, you're not strumming all the strings, you're just strumming the bottom four strings, and when you hit the accent, you strum it with a little bit more velocity and you strum it a little bit harder. So we start with the A minor chord. One and two and three and four and. Now we're gonna go to a D chord. Second fret G string, third fret B string, second fret high E string. Now we strum from the fourth string, the D string. One and two and three and four and. Now we go to a G chord. Keep your third finger down, second finger, third fret on the low E string, first finger, second fret on the A string, pinky third fret on the high E string. Same strum pattern, one and two and three and four and. Now, on the last measure of this section, we split the measure into two parts. We have a C chord, and we're gonna strum one and two, and then um, we're gonna go to a G with a B in the bass, which is just gonna be your taking after the C, which is gonna be first finger, first fret, B string, second finger, second fret, D string, third finger, third fret, A string. We're gonna strum one and two and then second finger second fret on the a string three and four and um, you're gonna strum the a the d the g and the b string and then you're back to the a minor so the last measure will be one and two and three and four and one and then you're back
back to the beginning of the progression. So we have a C chord. Rhythm, so the rhythm basically stays the same. The accents even. And then that part just repeats. So one more time over the section, we have A minor, one and two and three and four and D, two and three and G, C, G with the B in the bass, and we're back to the A minor. Now, the G with the B in the bass, I'm playing it like this to make it um, efficient. But it's, it is, you're outlining a G chord, so if you wanted to just play a G chord, that would also work, and that would sound like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two. Now I'll play the full G. Two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one. So as you can see, that would also work. So that would be over the main verse and chorus. Now we have a bridge section. The bridge second, bridge section, um, we start with an E minor chord. And then it goes to, for a full measure, one and two and three and four, and then we go to a C chord. And it goes back to an E minor chord, back to the C chord. And the first time you hear it, that's all you hear. You just hear the E minor chord. Then, um, the second time around, when you hit the bridge, it's going to do some different things. We're going to have an E minor chord to a C chord. It's going to go three times. And then, on the fourth time, it's going to go E minor. To an A chord, and then it's going to go E minor to an A chord again. Then it's going to go to a G chord, to an A chord, then a G chord, to an A chord. Now for those of you that don't know E minor, E minor is just 2nd fret on the A, 2nd fret on the D string. The same strum pattern, one and two and three and four and now to go to the C chord you just take your index finger off, third finger goes to the third fret of the um, A string, first finger, first fret of the B string, full measure here, back to E minor, C, and do that again, E minor goes to A now. minor to A again. G to A. And then G to A again. And that would take you through the bridge section. Now, at the end of the song, it's going to go through the bridge, and after you hear it cycle through the bridge, it's going to change up a little bit. You're going to hear a C chord the outro to an A chord, G chord to an A chord, and that's more or less the outro, C to an A chord, to a G chord, back to the A chord, and that would be the, um, and that would be the outro. I hope you enjoyed the song, please subscribe, please like on Facebook. Thanks so much for visiting us at guitarreferenceguide.com.